Buckman is the leading Republican candidate for California's Attorney General. He joins us this morning to discuss what he has to offer and what makes him a good fit for that role. He joins us now. Good morning, Mr. Huckman. Good morning, Paul. Hey, uh, well, let's just go over the timeline because uh, Mr. Bonta, is it, is uh, was a was the fill-in fill -in replacement for back in April of 2021, and now the election for that office is 20, November of 22, right? Do I have that's that right? That's correct. All right, so that's the timeline. So your, your campaign is underway. You have 10 months to prove to Californians why you should be the guy. Uh, the fact that he is the uh, has is sitting in the chair right now, does that make it more difficult for you? Well, uh, of course, uh, he, he has the chair right now, but what he is uh, responsible for is the lack of safety and security we are seeing up and down California. We have seen violent crime go up by double digits, homelessness at an all-time high, fentanyl poisonings killing more people in San Francisco than COVID, and even recidivism, people going back to prison after being in prison at over 50%. So uh, I think the imagery of the snatch and grab robberies or the almost harkens back to the Wild West, the train robberies that we're seeing in L.A., these images are are distressing and disturbing. And yet California is just kind of, you know, that's that's life in the wild, wild west. Uh, how do you fight that? The way you fight that, Paul, is you basically ask Californians a very simple question. <laughs> Do you feel more safe and secure today than you have in the last two, four, six, or eight years? If the answer is no, which I believe is a resounding no by most Californians, then you have to look at the situation that got you there and say that we need some agents of change to get us out. Well, so like, like you, you know how popular the defund the police movement was here in California over the summer, uh, or, you know, the election summer? It, it, is that waning? Do you think the public polls there are turning? Absolutely. You see it from Minneapolis uh, all the way back to Los Angeles and San Francisco. <clears throat> the people understand that defund the police was an awful idea. The idea is actually you need to partner with the police. Partner with the police, bring in social service organizations to help with the homeless. Bring in domestic violence counselors to help with domestic violence situations. Actually provide the police with more resources so they can better hire, train, and supervise their officers. You know, we have your name and title up, and that little R next to your name seems to me that poses the most difficulty in a state that is so darn blue. How do you convince people who normally are predisposed to vote against you that you're the better candidate? That's a great question. And the answer, I think, is the fact that safety and security has so disintegrated in our society that people are afraid to go outside, send their children outside, their parents, their neighbors. And when people feel that safety and security is not being protected, that is not a Republican issue, nor a Democratic issue, nor an independent issue. That is a Californian issue. And when Californians look got them in this situation and the possibility that someone like me with 30 years of criminal justice experience as both a prosecutor, a former U.S. Attorney General, has both the uh, qualifications and the common sense message to bring back safety and security, I'm convinced they're going to vote for the person rather than the party. Do you sometimes wake up and think I'm living in an alternative universe when you look around the country, see people that have the title of the job that you seek? And their their philosophy is, hey, we have to minimize how how we sentence people, and we have to be. It's almost like they have a lighter on crime, even severe violent crime. Their 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 sentences are, for lack of a better definition, light, and and yet they get elected. Doesn't that concern you? That just the plight of the species. Absolutely. I think that that what we've seen is sort of a an alliance between the Sacramento. Uh, California Attorney General Rob Bonta, the LA District Attorney George Gascon, and the San Francisco Jury District Attorney Chase Boudin. I branded these people the let them go guys because they basically created a culture where you can commit crimes without consequences. And that's what we need to bring back, that people understand that there are consequences to their actions. And it doesn't mean that you have to incarcerate everybody for 10 or maximum amount of time. The advantage of having been a prosecutor and a defense attorney 
is that I have an idea how to calibrate who needs to be in prison to protect our safety and who can serve their debt to society in some other way. Well, you know all your opponents and, and your, the incumbent will be heavily funded by union money. How do you fight that? How do you get your name out there? So the way you get your name out there is the way I've been doing it. We've raised over $1.4 million so far, and over 40% of that has been from Democrats and independents. Because when they hear the message that I'm, I'm basically preaching out there, they see my 30 years of qualifications, and they understand that I'm trying to bring back common sense crime uh, and safety and security for all Californians. That message is resonating throughout California. Well, Mr. Hockman, we have to call it a conversation. I appreciate you making your time for KUSI. I suspect, I'll, if I were a betting man, I suspect you're gonna be on KUSI uh, again and again as we get closer to November. Well, it was my absolute pleasure to be uh, with you this morning, and I look forward to sharing my message with Californians as often as possible. All right, until next time.